all these things that you are seeing, um, it started not a long time ago, just about five years ago. And um, we believe in God. A lot of us here believe in God. We are Bible-believing. Um, i like you to know that God is real. God is very, very real. To my story today, I can't even say anything without acknowledging the help of God. So, it started just very ordinarily. Um, I just got, I, I come to Abuja to do car wash. We, I, was, I'm, I was schooling at Benue State University at that time, studying economics. So I come to Abuja to do car wash and then assist my sister. You know how you wash the car in the morning, you know, you bath the baby or cook or just, or just one of those, those things. So I used to do that. And then back at school, I used to do um, this um, ushering work where you share food at events. So I was doing that, and I was doing it to help with school fees. He, he wasn't aware. I, I have lots of siblings and all of that, but none of them, it, none of them ever brought money for school fees. So I had to do the car wash. I had to come to Abuja, Apo Resettlement Zone A. I had to do the car wash, and then from there, go back to school. Be, most times before the, 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 the section, the, the break is over, we could have realized a good amount. And I have a brother who is so accountable, Elisha. He'll put the money. If they dash us money, maybe you wash somebody's car, 500. They give you 700. The 200 is our own. He keeps it. So at that, that pace, we're able to generate money to pay school fees, to do all manner of things. And that was just it. Until after graduation, we say, ah, we are looking for a job. Oh. We are looking for a job. We carried CV, 50. We're looking for a job that could pay us 30 to 50,000 naira. We carried CV. You needed to see me. That was the last time I looked like this, with suits, coats, and inside keke. I was the keke man was telling me, "Oh God, remove your hand," because I had to sit in front with him. Oh God, remove your hand, remove your coat, remove your coat. It was a struggle. We wanted to get a job, you know. But then I held on to God. I kept praying, and I realized that I was going to remain around that level. It was as difficult as. I, he mentioned that I'm a church guy. I don't joke with the work of God. I don't joke. Service is what is servicing us as we speak. Service. If you are a, if you are a believer and you work at church, after today, one major thing you should do is get a department. If you don't already have anything, if you don't even want to join a, a department, even if it's us, um, offering baskets, you can buy and be bringing or something, just push something into God's work like that, in one way or the other. It was in the midst of this service, and then I met Nate Juniors. On, at the studio, there's a, the editing suit is named after him, Nate Juniors Editing Suit. I met him, and Nate Juniors was like, ah, I like the way you drive the crane. You know, it's so cinematic, you know, and I, I like your cameras. Can we, and I, I mean, I was looking for a job, I was trying to, you know, make ends meet. At that time, it was a struggle to go home. That guy wearing white there, Solomon, he's been with me for years. Solomon can tell that we used to look for 100 naira from Area 1 to Apo. Sometimes we have to sleep in Area 1 because we don't have money to go to Apo. Sometimes we have to come. You can't, you can't have money to come on Saturday and come on, on, on Sunday. So we have to come on Saturday and sleep in generator room, <laughs> we call it, you know? So it was, it was such a struggle, but we kept on believing. But then, when I met Nate, and I saw, he asked me for the cameras we were using. I didn't even know the cameras, but they were good cameras. I checked them, and I went to his Facebook to send him, send him the stuff. And I saw a, a video like this one that I was showing you. Ah, a drone was flying for somebody's wedding. I said, and that time, drone was the new, you know, it was just coming out. I was like, why would somebody's wedding have a drone? Even church service would not even have ordinary wedding. You know, and I got to him, I said, ah, sir, can I see, this thing you do is very sweet, though. Ah, this is what I do, but this is on another level. He said, yeah, that is what he does. You know, he was doing for Dangote. He was, I was like, wow. I didn't think of the money at the moment, but I felt like I had a witness in my spirit that this is what you can do. This is what you can do. 
I started thinking, what, what can I do? What can I do? How, how, will I, how will I be able to put this together? I don't know how to edit videos. I only know how to carry the kind of, the cam, kind of cameras these guys are using. is different from the ones that we use, broadcast cameras. They are different from the ones you use at stadiums, at churches. These ones are DSLRs. And we need DSLRs to get this done. I do, I've never used it. So I met him, I said, Nate, please, can I come be coming to your place? That was just how we went in. And I, I spoke to him. He said I should come and be moving around. And I wasn't collecting any money from him. I said I just wanted to learn, see how he does what he does. Because I had a witness in my spirit at the place of service. I met him at church, remember, at the place of service, that I can do it. You know, so I just followed him around, followed him around, followed him around. And by God's mercy, I was able to make something out of it. I was able to go learn how to set a gimbal, set cameras. I was the least guy among, uh, at his place. But then, I was not looking at that. I was not looking at that. My mind, God had already told me that I can do that thing. It was in my mind, I, I, had, I felt like, oh, how, how is it possible that I can be able to make a video like this all by myself? I didn't, you need to understand where I'm, I'm coming from. This is somebody that is looking for transportation. Food is, wasn't the problem because I was saying with my sister, but I, I am looking for transportation. There's a video I was trying to get to play for you. You'll be very amused. The video that gave us um, credence, I'll tell you about it in a minute. So that was how it all happened. I realized in, when I pulled back a bit, I realized that what actually happened to me was that I saw something that I wanted. I saw something that I needed to, I felt like I could do. I didn't wait to have everything. I started from meeting Nate, oh, can I do this, can I do that? So I didn't have to, you know, do all of that. I just, very quietly, when, I, when we came, and I met Nate and all of that, God told me to, I, I asked, I was like, Where, how can I begin this thing? I realized that, you know, I kept having that witness that, oh, I have to use what I have. What do I have? I didn't have anything. You know, so I was wondering, and I asked, and I asked, and I asked, and then I realized that it was, it had to be rented cameras. I had to go rent cameras to try to attempt what Nate was doing. And I had to start doing YouTube videos. How many of you are, do, does anybody have a photography or media business? Media, just media, video? You have, you have. Does, is anybody here interested in starting one? You are aspiring to be a photographer or videographer? Okay, okay, okay. I hope that what I say, if it doesn't make an impression on the people here, it does on you, at least on you. Uh, even if it's just one person. You know, that's so, it's, it's, it was so strange that I had to go renting cameras. And guess what? I didn't still have money to rent cameras. And I was not getting jobs. People were not calling me for jobs because they don't know me. I'm trying to come into a market. So I started going, meeting event decorators. Please, can I come and cover your decor? I can edit it for you and send it to you free. I sent messages to a lot of them. On Instagram, I was in their DMs. Can I, do it? let me see your work. I don't have any work. So what do you want us to do now? I will do it free of charge. Do you understand? So I was worrying them, worrying them. Can I, can I, can I? They were not even giving me the chance because it was like a scam. Your page, nothing is there. Coming soon, coming soon, coming soon. No video is there. <laughs> so it was, it was crazy, but um, what I knew was that I was going to do this. I had seen Nate do something like this. I was going to do it. So I begged one guy, Alvina Events. Most of you here know Alvina. He's one of the biggest decorators. I begged him. I said, whatever you want, I will do. When, when we do videos like this and people pay millions, we give them one highlight sometimes. One highlight, at most, two highlights. But Alvina, I was doing it for Alvina free. Guess how many highlights I gave him? Six highlights from Deco video alone. Because of how desperate and how much, you know, I wanted to prove a point to him. And it was in one of those incidences. I guess, do you know what I would do? I will rent camera. I'll tell the guy that um, I will bring the money. You guys watch Sabinus. He did his kid like that. He rented camera. I told him that he was going to bring the money after. And he misplaced the camera. 
So I will go and rent camera. I will tell the guy. There was even I will collect the camera. I will tell them I will bring them. So while the event is going on and I'm uncovering the event, I will be calling my brother. Oi, do you have any change on you? Do you have like 5,000? Uh, I mean, I have rented the camera already, shooting the event already, you know, trying to gather money to pay the people back before coming because I know that these people will not pay me. So that was how we were doing it until one evening I was at church, I was walking, and then one woman called me, the creator of Blue Velvet. She was like, Oh, hold on, please. Um, I know you've been begging me to do videos. Uh, I have a really nice decor. I want you to come and do it. Um, I don't really have anything to pay. I said, No, no, don't worry. I, I don't worry. Even if you don't have anything to pay me, I'm fine. So I ran to that event and it was something else. I, I not only borrowed, collected camera without paying, the person I collected camera from had to give me transport to the event. <laughs> His name is George, George Seller. George had to give me transport. After telling, begging George that I'll give him the money, he gave me 500 naira to carry moto to Blue Velvet. And when I came, I saw a lot of familiar faces. I saw people that were biggest in the industry. Every vendor there were the biggest. It was the biggest photographer, biggest decorator, biggest everything. And I was asking, whose wedding is this? Whose wedding is this? You know, so it was just random. And I was like, ah. Let me just make my video and be going. But after doing the video, the woman said, um, that you are done, you can go. But I was like, ah, I can't leave here. Oh. I have to make more videos. So I waited for the bride. You know this kind of photographer? You know, it's, it hurts me so much when I see them uh, block photographers coming into an event, unlicensed photographers. That was what I was. Unlicensed, I will be there. They'll say, ah, you, can you go back? You will just disappear for a moment. When matters don't die down, you now come out again. So that was what I was doing. That's how it hurts me. I cried one day. After we were doing one of these big events, they sent a man out. I was weeping. They were wondering why I was crying, but they didn't know that. That was my level. So it was so surprising. When we came to that event, I, I was doing a sharp, sharp, sharp. I was doing a lot of things. And then they told me that Buhari students are looking for me everywhere. That if they catch me, I said, let them come and catch me. <laughs> let them come and catch me. You know, so it was so interesting that we did that video and it was everywhere. In a moment, it was everywhere. What? He, they, they were like, what, how, who is this guy? Where did he, are you the official photographer? No. The official photographer was even hungry. The videographer was hungry and left to go and eat to come back before realizing that I captured all the moments. In fact, I over, and I'll get camera that I borrowed that they even gave me money to come there. So it was even at the end of the video that I was leaving that I realized that I didn't have money to pay the guy and do all those things. I had to sleep. See, do you know what? I told him that I was using the camera again the next day, which was Sunday, to give me time to look for his money, even though the money doubled. Do you understand? So, but that changed everything. After that video, we got calls. I saw one millionaire a lot, as in, I sent, I told people that, oh, this is what we do. We do video, 200,000 naira for one video. I saw a lot. Like, somebody paid for five events at once, and in the northern state, in Kano. And it was so, when I saw that, I, I was at Life Camp at one event center doing another deco video. When I saw the alert, I broke my ATM so that nobody can catch me and <laughs> I said, oh, yeah, go and withdraw you. <laughs> I never seen that kind of money in my life. <laughs> So I was, I called my brother, I said, Oi, Elisha, we are big. We are big. You know, so we started doing all manner of stuff. We went to Aussie Services, we bought some things. And see, the way God, I, I know why I mentioned God to you. The way God moves is different from the way we move. He gives you what to see. And he helps you. If you would be determined enough to hold on to that thing, he will help you achieve it and overachieve it. Do you know that that was a little story? Now is a total different ball game. It's it's not a long time ago. This this particular story I just shared is about three years ago, but you will not believe. I don't think there is any wedding videographer. I don't think there is any that is as successful and has built as much structure as we have here in this town. I don't think. I, you you have to point them to me. It's 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 so humbling. It's so humbling that I just hide myself away from everything. I just want God to get all the glory because it couldn't have been me. You know, but one thing that was very, very, very helpful 
is realizing the fact that God has given you a vision. You have seen something. How are you going to pursue it? How do you want to? It doesn't see this story could have gone any other way, like, but it will still get to the point of these videos. We have all manner of if it's videography, we are doing videography at the very top level, and we are just starting. We are just do you know what it means for you to go to a place and then maybe like governors? Um, you just go to a place and then governors just like you. Like, I want you to. We we have a couple of a lot of them. So it was a very long story of success. And, but my brothers and sisters, what I can tell you is that what are you seeing now? You, are, you have a company. You have a, your business. You have a, there's a place your business is now. You have to have somewhere that you are looking at. You know, you know God told Abraham that as far as your eyes can see, right, that will I give. That is how it is, so that is it. That is just it. What are you saying? They have they are professional architects, guy, architects. Yeah, these guys have read and read and solved mass and some we have not solved mass. Now camera, now lies with the use now. So I may not go into that depth of strategy. There's something, please, guys, don't forget. What did that what was that thing? <laughs> Strategic. Alliance, even me, I miss that lecture because <laughs> so strategy they, they have taught you all of that. But I just want to charge you up. What are you seeing? You have to find, you have to, you have to believe God for something to see. Don't see it with the eyes of where you are. If I was looking at the eyes of where I was, I would never have gone for that event. I would never have met those people. Do you know what? Do you know how God did it? The same Nate is an is an amazing guy, he's a Sony ambassador right now. But he called me the other day and he told me that he remembers the day that I came to meet him at church, the day he met me at church and spoke to me. And where I am now, the the structure of my staff, the structure is amazing. I've not even been in the studio. Mind you, I'm a real estate investor too. Yes, that's that's, yes, that's that's what God, that's how fast God can move. So now we can make money from videography and take it into real estate. So we have Horton Real Estate Development. It's a full-blown company, registered since 2020. That one too, God showed me. That time we were just seeing money for video, but God showed me. Now we are seeing, do you know how what God did? See that car wash I was working? He brought some of those people who were washing car that were giving us 200. He brought them for us to serve them as their wedding. And guess what? We now give them the wedding free of charge. Then some of them now say, I know you gave me wedding free of charge. I, I hear say they do real estate. I get some money. You know, when we won't use. I get land. I get this one. Such a story. Myself, if I want, I, I am my own motivational speaker. I look at my testimony and recollect, recollect, collect, collect. How faithful God has been over the, the years. See, if you can just catch something. If you can just see something, whether you are working for somebody now and collecting salary, or you have a business, just hold on, so just catch something. If you can just catch something, just hold on to something. If you want to be somebody who puts this kind of meeting together for people, young people to come and um, learn and you know be blessed, I think this is the best place to see it, Abby. Fill your mind with what that particular thing that you want your life, that place you want your life to be in five years. Fill your mind with it, with your company too. That visualization, you have to be clear. You have to, no matter the struggle, if the, there, there were times when we were putting that studio together, if I tell you, it was so, I had to, it got to a point, I had to make the, the things that we're ordering from, from Milan, from Turkey, that we wanted to make it a very big, um, like a luxury studio. That was that is what it is. The things that were, it was so difficult that we had I had to start using some of them as screen saver, so that I will be seeing them. Please don't. That's not. I believe that some of you have heard this before. I just want you to. My life changed by that. I saw something. I saw someone do it. I saw now with the real estate. Before I even did, I started seeing Cost Group developing estate and putting it together, neatly arranged. You know, people buy. People are living there. You know, very quietly. How can I start this? How can I? I went to Cosgrove during um, COVID. 
While everywhere, there were no weddings. They were doing sites. Sites were operational. I went there to go and learn how to do one or two things, develop connections, do one or two. Now, those people that I met at Cosgo that were people are now doing their work by themselves. And I say, oh, how can we come in? Let's work together. Do you understand? Anywhere that you are now is enough for you. That is what I'm saying. Anywhere that you are now is enough. Is you, you have... You know, God that brought you this far did not brought you here to leave you, right? You hear it. Your pastor says it. God that brought you this far did not bring you. Yes, it is true. It is, if you would just believe, if you, if you have that vision, if you have where you are, if you have put it, you look like a Forbes guy. You like this, looking at me. Yes. If you want your business or your company to be on Forbes and all of that, my brother, if you put it in your head, three years too much, You run with it. You run through the struggles. You run through all manner of problems. And I, I wish I had more time to share. There are some things that I saw going on, some little challenges that I saw, you know, that comes up in that tries to give you, um, you know, that tries to make you doubt where you are from or what you are doing. You know, there are lots of them. But one, one thing that you can hold on to is stand your ground. Life itself has a way of conforming to you who has a very stubborn mind. I want it, I want it. If you need, or if you are, if you are failing in strength, carry scriptures. You, you, are, you, you believe in the Bible. Carry scriptures. There are all manner of scriptures. You are what God says you are. There are so many of them. Carry them and keep restating it day and night. Hold your, for me, um, I don't know if there are Muslims here, but I work with Muslims 95% of the people who work with are Muslims. The state governors, the, um, we just, Solomon is another word, the, the governor of Yobe, they reached out to us that they want us to take care of a number of projects. Like virtually all the northern governors, Katsina, so many of them, we work together. One thing is consistent with me. I believe in God. That faith that I have, the name Jesus, eh, opens every door. That is, I don't even joke with it. I spent hours in worship alone to this name. Do you understand? Don't take, don't, don't, for me, my story, I can't share it with you without telling you that you should take seriously your work with God. There are some things that God would tell you that ordinary, ordinarily, if you were to find out on your own, it would take you five years. But just by close work with God, I mean very close work. What? Social media work. Very close work. Only you and God. Nobody knows you've done that amount of worship. Nobody knows you are doing that amount of, not for anything. You are there with the tomorrow you are looking at. I'm telling you, life change. It changes so fast. People, I used to have a quote on my phone that says, life can go from zero to 100 it real, real fast. That happened to me. I'm not at the very place where I want to be. I have I, 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 the vision I saw some years ago. I, I am living the reality now. And I have new visions for today that I'm reinforcing day by day. Even my being here is a confirmation of that vision. I said, ah, how can I move on without giving? We have an international foundation coming soon, reaching out to prisoners at prison houses and also um, school children. Because there was a point I was sent out of the, of the exam hall for not paying school fees of, I think, about 19,000 naira. Now, there is no staff that collects less than double that amount, you know, in a, even our cleaner. Here, and it's not far. It's just hotel studios here. It's just across. You see, it's just across. We are neighbors with Rockview, big hotel like this. So that is just, don't even let anything put you down. You, we, we have all that thing set up, and God has a way of, you know, if you get to a point, he shows you where next to be. You get to pray. So hold closely. If you are if you're a Muslim, take your prayers very seriously. If you're a Christian, take your prayers, take your God very, very seriously. I believe that that opens the door, that way, for that keeps you running. In this world, I'm telling you, don't think that, ah, we people don't have God, and they don't care about God. If you go to the U.S. and you find out that, ah, these people don't, but they are successful and all of that. The battles that we are facing here, my brother, the crabology, I'm telling you, 
Recently, I had some people talk all manner of things about me. 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 That you've never even seen before. These people have not even seen me before. They have not even seen me before. We had to call them to say, come, come. What did you say? Where, where? And then we realized that these guys are just agitated. This guy cannot make this giant stride at once like this. That is just their problem. Who would you concern American? You are doing good. You are doing good for yourself. Do you understand? So I just, I am so grateful that I've had this time to share this with you. I, I hope I didn't bore you. I 